morning, everybody. Hello, hello. And uh, we're going to roll out a little bit for the knees and quads today. One ball. Um, we may use two, but um, let me position this computer up a little bit. I can see it's a little low. There we go. Okay, good morning. Um, okay, so one ball. We're going to lay on our back and we will get started. This is going to be one tennis ball right behind the right kneecap. You're going to lay on your back like this, okay? And uh, go ahead and just pull the leg into your um, rib cage, your right rib cage, and breathe. This is a big stretch for your calf, um, a big myofascial release for your calf. Do you feel that? Go ahead and circle your ankle as you pull your knee in. And you can pull your knee in uh, easy. You can lift the, the gastro, the, the calf muscle off the ball a little bit or pull it in tighter, whatever you feel like you need. Circle the ankle. Now change the ball so it, it's a little bit down on your calf and a little bit up from your knee and pull in again. Circle, so we're kind of myofascial release on the calf muscle. Go ahead and circle your ankle both ways. Woo! I don't know about you, but this is tight. If you hike a lot or something like that, bike a lot, it's gonna, you're gonna feel this one. Go ahead and circle again. Just around, around, around. Pull in. Good. Go back up to restart it. Right behind the knee and pull in. and just relax just a bit. I want to get to the front of the leg. So pull in for about seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, good, good. Release it, give your hamstring a stretch. You guys are gonna to have to text me or write me about that because that one is killer for me. Left knee, okay, left knee. And pull again. Circle the ankle, just pull the left thigh into the left ribs. You can straighten the right leg or bend it. I kinda of like to bend it. And feel the release. I kind of have repositioned the ball to the outside of my knee and it's still behind my kneecap though. Just another breath. On the inside, it's not nearly so tender, but see what you feel. Mostly on the outside. And uh, we'll talk about that later. Go ahead and drop it down so it's kind of in the middle of your calf and pull it. You might need to get lower on your leg, pull in, pull in, circle the ankle. So it's right in the middle of your calf and circle the ankle and breathe and relax. We're going to go back to behind the knee. So go ahead and pull in. Mine's not much looser. How about you? It's the same tightness. Go ahead and breathe and relax. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, that's tight. Pull in in seven seconds, <laughs> wherever you want to put it. Six, for the hamstring and the calf. And so we're gonna go with the right, the ball underneath the right hip. And you're gonna start high, and we're gonna go to the knee, okay? So quad, quad release, hip flexor release. Go ahead and lay down and put the ball uh, below your hip crease and 
right in the middle of the muscle, right in the middle of the quad. And then I want you to bend your knee. Good. And straighten. And then straighten. And I want you to try, uh, it's right below the hip crease. Uh, bend and straighten and put it towards the midline, okay? Towards the midline. And just drop your head, relax. I have my head relaxed on my hands and then go towards the midline. So right in the middle of your quad, bend and straighten. Good, and towards the outside of your quad, okay? Bend and straighten. It's probably gonna be, be more on the outside than the inside, but it depends. So let's try four different positions so you know how much, many um, inches to go down your quad. Let's try four. That was the first one. Let's go to the second one. So you're right above the middle and you're gonna bend and straighten. <laughs> Lift the knee if you want. It's gonna get more tender as you travel down. <laughs> you guys are gonna go, why is she doing this? This is really hard. <laughs> painful. Go to the inside, inside towards the inner thigh, but still on your quadricep and bend and straighten. <laughs> Good for you. That's one. And you can hang anywhere you want. Go to the lateral side of your hip, bend and straighten. You can keep the knee down. It'll feel a little bit less dynamic or lift your knee if you feel like I can handle it. I can do it, feels good. We're gonna travel down. So now you're hitting your third position. Okay, your third position. And right in the middle of the muscle, bend and straighten. Right in the middle. Really release, use your breath to release tension in that muscle, okay? Good, over to the midline, midline. Just make a lateral move across the muscle. Bend and straighten, I'm gonna toe out a little bit. Kind of on the innermost quad, we're getting the vastus medialis. Part of the quad, go to the outside, here we are outside so you're getting near all that near the um it band don't go on the it band you're close to it but you're not on it you're on your quad but it's a lot of muscle in there it's strong it's probably just a little bit tight good you can rock right to left and then change it to your last position. So here we are, we're gonna go down towards the knee and you're gonna bend and straighten. The knee is lifted now, it's a lot of, a lot of pressure on that quad. So you can lift up off it a little bit if you like. <laughs> how we're doing. Oh, we got to go to the other side. We got to go to the lateral side. So this is where I feel a lot of sensation. It's inner thigh down by the knee. You can kind of roll around on it, get into it, just put your leg in half a diamond and kind of get into it right there. Maybe let it sink in for seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, to one and go to the lateral side so you're out by the IT band. A little pigeon toed on the right foot. Let it just hang in there for about seven seconds. And we're kind of done with this leg. Whew, breathe into it. Great job. Let's do the other side, okay? So right in the hip crease, right below the left hip crease. 
and we will go laying down on the ball. This is the first position. Bend and straighten, and this time your knee rests on the floor. So this is easy. Piece of cake. This is really not too, too bad. Go to the inside, in and out. Again, probably not too much. It might be for you, I don't know. For me, it's down by the knee that is really, really tight. This is really good for your knees. So we kind of went behind the knee um, and then in front. Okay, over to the lateral side and this you might feel a little bit more. Bend and straighten. Roll down a quarter, and you're above the halfway mark, and bend and straighten. Your knee might lift off. Um, do what you need to do to make it comfortable. This may be your tight side. It might not be. I don't know. Go medial. Your foot's a little bit turned out, just a little bit. Knees a little bit turned out so you can get on the inside of the quad and uh, keep going. And then go to the outside and we've got two more positions. And then go, uh, we're three quarters of the way down as far as position, third position. And go ahead and just bend and, bend and stretch. Is anybody forgetting to breathe? I keep forgetting. Sometimes when it's painful, you forget to breathe. But the exhale is really important. The inhale is very important. Just inhale. Exhale out any stress you might have. Really let it go. Go to the inner thigh. Let the toe out, go out a little bit. I'm gonna look forward to practicing yoga because this is ridiculous. My quads have always been super tender. Okay, outside, outside of it. <laughs> it's probably from bicycling, I'm thinking. Okay, in and out. How you doing, Janice? How you doing, Vaughn? <laughs> I know you guys have strong quads. Oh, goodness, okay. All the way down, you're going at the bottom, bottom. So it's above your kneecap, you are above, you're right in the middle, bend and stretch. This is our last pressure point. Woo hoo, having some fun, huh? <laughs> we will make it, it's almost done. Inside, ooh yeah, oh baby, that is it. That's the muscle for me, that is, Vastus medialis, that is so tight. I'm just kind of digging in there, going up and down, north, south, south, right to left, just letting it dig in. My leg's in kind of half a diamond. And I'm just gonna pressure point that for seven seconds. Six, I'm gonna breathe, I'm dropping my head, I'm really relaxing. While the ball does its work, four, three, two, one. Good, go to the lateral side. Uh, other side, the quad. Good. You can bend and straighten. That's pretty tight too. Go ahead and let it dig in in whatever way you want. For seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, you're done. Put the ball away. Put the ball away and get ready. Good morning, if you're just joining us, we're gonna do vinyasa flow yoga. And I promised you a lot of core. Let me see who's here. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I'm seeing a lot of friends. I'm so glad to see all of you. Um, 
let's see. Hi. Okay. Good morning. Hope you guys are all doing okay. Hope your lives are going okay. Just hanging in there, getting, trying to get out for walks and seeing your friends once in a while. So important for a sense of ease and peace in your life. Just making sure you're getting out and picking up the phone, right? Pick, how are you doing? Especially our friends that need it. Let's, let's begin in prayer. Uh, just here, any position you want, standing, uh, legs apart, legs together. And find yourself, uh, energy coming up the front, pulling in the bunda here, our lower belly. Pull it in, and then lift up. Let it lift your chest up. Bunda lifts your chest up, and then lifts the crown of your head up, and then the energy going down your back. So you have a little bit of a glute squeeze, not a big one. And your eyes can be closed or just soft, looking down. And find yourself uh, coming into your intention or dedication. Anything you want. Anything you want it to be. It could be something for your heart, your, just yourself. It could be something for the world or anything. So just come into your practice. What you'd like to focus on today. Breathe. Together for just a couple of breaths. And relaxing into that thought. Coming into that deep space inside you that's really safe. That space that's just yours. One more breath into your dedication or intention. And gently open your eyes if they're closed. Come to the front of your mat and inhale your arms up. Good, exhale, fold. And this time walk your feet out and bend your knees. So you're just gonna have a really easy fold. Super easy, pull in the belly and let your head drop. Good, take the pinky fingers in the fold of your arm and then just kind of spin around. in your hamstrings, and it doesn't feel too tender. It feels just good. Let your arms go over your head. Breathe. Relax. Bend the left knee. Put your left shoulder on your left knee. Kick your arms up over to the left. Good. And then do it on the other side. Right knee bend. Right shoulder, right knee. Kick up and over. Center it up. Drop your arms down. Good, and let's roll up bone by bone, just nice and easy. We'll do that a few times. Inhale, exhale, dive down. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, you can roll up or hinge up as your back sees. Exhale down. Good. Inhale to lengthen, lift your heart. Offer forward, exhale to fold. Inhale, if you feel like you can start to hinge, do the hinge. Exhale, we're going to add an arch back, arch back. Inhale, exhale, dive. Inhale, offer. Exhale to fold. 
Inhale in. This time we're going to go to prayer. Exhale prayer. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, arch back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lift. Offer and exhale back to plank. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, come to your tippy toes. We're going to work our abdominals just a little bit through this position. Bend the elbows one inch and up. Good. You're on your tippy toes as far forward as you can be. You could be on your knees and you can be on your elbows. Come forward, bend your elbows one inch. Straighten, go back. One more. Tippy toe, bend the elbows. Straighten, down dog. First down dog. So. Take a walk in your dog. You may um, bend your knees generously, one then the other. Take a walk. Also, as an option, you can bend the left knee, look under your right arm, and take your right hip up. So just twist your hip up, feeling a stretch in your right side. <laughs> yes, good. Bend the right knee, look under your left arm, left hip up. Feel the stretch. Beautiful, good. Come all the way forward to plank again. Drop to your knees. Great, drop to your elbows. So your arms make a number 11. We're gonna do a little bit of abdominal work. Come down, hips here, good. And then I want you to be on the tops of your feet. And I want you just to roll up with your abdominals. So lift your hips up. And you can come to your knees or the tops of your feet and hike up. Good. And then go down. Abdominal work. Here we go. Inhale. You get a little back arch. And then I want you to pull in. Tail tuck, tail tuck. Lift your belly. Lift your glutes. And then lift your knees is optional. And pike up. Good. You've got eight more. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale up. Good. Inhale. Exhale up. I think that's four more. Inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale up. My bad counter, but I'm going to say two more. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> One more. Inhale and exhale up. Hold. I'm really pulling your abdominals. Pull them in. Four, three, two. Float your knees down. Take your hands. Walk them back underneath your shoulders. And take the right arm out like you're going to shake someone's hand and left foot. Toes are straight down. Great. Now, Right elbow to your left knee, in and out. You'll exhale as you bring it in. Good, just one more. Bring it in. Now take it out. Take your right arm out to the side. Take your left leg as far to the left as you can. And lift your left leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7. It requires a lot of abdominals. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your right arm. Take your left knee to your left tricep and back. Oblique left side, eight. Tap your tricep, seven, six, five, four, three, just two more, two, and one more. Bring it in, tap it, hold it. Can you hold it there? For four, for three, for two, for one. Take it back. Bend the left knee in half. Take the right arm for a bind and kick up. Kick up, kick, kick, kick. Kick the left knee higher for four, for three, for two. Don't slingshot your leg. And down, good. Take a cat cow, inhale. Exhale, round up. Four more, inhale. Exhale, round up. 
exhale, round up. Inhale, exhale, really tuck the tail, pull in your abdominals. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale all the way up. Left arm, like you're gonna shake someone's hand, right leg back, here we go. Elbow to knee, exhale. Inhale to reach out, exhale. Inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. That is it, left arm goes to the left side like a T, right leg comes out, we're lifting 10 times. Just keep lifting, six, five, four, three, two, one, left arm down, right knee pulls in to right tricep and back. Yes, just like that. Exhale as you bring the knee in. You've only got about six more, five more, four, we're gonna hold it on one, three, two, stick it, and there we go. In and hold for three, for two, for one. Take the right knee back, right leg back, straight, bend it in half. Left arm comes up and around to hold, kick. Kick, 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 right knee goes higher, higher. Last four, last three, last two, don't slingshot the leg. Right arm down, right leg straight, kick back, straighten the right leg. We're gonna kick the right heel back for a little stretch, okay? Just on your calf, stretch it back. Good, and then just come over to the side. Take your right leg side and you're on your left knee, right arm up. It's like a modified side plank. Okay, I'm gonna challenge you to lift your right leg up and lift it up. So we're working that same side again. Good. And the only thing you're gonna do is start to take the leg forward of you. Just hold, pulse it up, pulse it up. If you can take it all the way in front of your belly button, do it. Pull in the belly and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back where you got it and take it forward. Take it back, good, and forward. So you're gonna take this line you're making is uh, straight across and in line with your hip joint. So pull your leg forward four more times. This is with your belly. Pull your belly in. Good, kick it back. Three more. Kick it back. Two more. Kick back one more. Good, kick it back. Give it another stretch. Great. And change left leg back. Just stretch out your calf. Great, great, great. Lift the leg. Come onto your right arm. Lift your left arm. Here we are again. And hold it. start to lift the leg. And we're working from the gluteus medius side of the hip. This is the muscle that um, really gives you good one leg balance. And it helps your knee to track in the proper position to out rather than valgus in. And we're just gonna keep going up, okay? Up, up, up. Can you bring the, right, the left leg forward? towards your belly button. I don't care how far you get, but just lift it, pull your belly in. Keep pulling it in. Good, about four, three, two. The right hip is getting a lot of work, but take it back in that line. So you've got this line you're drawing, and it's very straight, and it's about hip level. And you've got about eight more, seven. So as you pull forward, really give your belly a good contraction, six. I promised you a lot of core work today. Five, four, three, two more. One more, gluteus medius. You might be really feeling it by now, good. And give it a stretch, go back. And another 
other down dog. Just go ahead and press up into your dog. Take a walk out. Right leg lifts when you're ready. Inhale. Exhale, open your hip, bend the knee. Right knee is going to come over to the right tricep and stick. Hold it. Take it over to the left tricep and stick and hold. Right tricep, left tricep. Four, three, keep switching it. Just like a pendulum, two, one. Now pick it up. Open the hip, bend the knee. Good, good. Take the right leg forward. Crescent. We'll come up and do a crescent pose. Come on. Good. Let's take the arms and cactus them and really pull the shoulders open. Chest open. Can you lift your gaze? Deepen your pose. Really straighten the left leg as much as possible. Yes, that's it. For four, for three, for two, for one. Lower yourself to the floor. Take your right leg back and you're in plank. Good. Hold plank. Hold plank. Hold plank. Saw back and forth ten times. This is abdominals. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You're doing great. Three, two, one. And down dog. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax completely. Good. Let it all go. When you're ready, your left leg will lift up. And then you'll open your hip, bend the knee. Lift it. Yeah, we're going to go left knee, left tricep, and we're going to stick it and hold it. Ready? Here we go. Over to the right tricep. Left tricep. Four. Switch. Three. And switch two, switch, one, lift it up, open the hip, bend the knee, and crescent pose, bring the left knee forward, step the foot between your hands and lift up, inhale, exhale, sink, Whew, good, and cactus your arms, tail tucked a little bit, lean back, look up, lift your chest up, so you can feel the, the sternum lifting, heart open, breathe, for four, for three, for two, hands to the ground, step the left leg back, chaturanga from your knees or feet, bend the elbows, up dog and hold. A couple of pikes if you like, you'll lift the hips in this position, from the hands, pike up five, you stay on the top of your feet, four, and three, and two, one more, hold, Hold the pike. Tuck the right toes, tuck the left down dog, good. And because I promised you a lot of core, that would be gone, <laughs> I promised you. Walk your feet forward, have a seat. We are going to do some boat poses, Navasana, okay? So pull in. And you can hold your legs or let go. You choose. And you can straighten your legs or bend them. And we're going to go lower and higher. So all the variations, okay? Just go ahead and do what you feel is best for your body. I'm going to exhale on the way down. And you can do what you feel is right for your body. But breathe. Breathe. Good. Four. Three, two, one. Hold it. You can come down. And then if you want to, you can take these hands underneath your glutes. We're going to do some leg drops. Drop it down. And you can drop your head down. That will feel good for your neck. Or you can lift it if you want more crunch. Rectus abdominis. It's up to you. Um, good. Now I'm going to ask you to drop your legs pigeon toe. Give your neck a rest if it gets stiff because I don't want you to have a stiff neck from the abdominals. And really kind of squeeze your hands underneath so your back is flat. Keep dropping. You might be two inches drop. You might be all the way down and drop. 
One more, you're gonna go toes out, heels in. Your feet will make a piece of pizza. And down. Now, glutes and abs working, okay? Glutes and abs all the way down and up. You've got about eight more. Eight. Really exhale the belly to your spine. Seven. Six. Five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Two. One more and hold. Hold it as low as you can hold it. Now you can stay here with the back flat. The glutes are tight, the abs are tight. Or you can take your arms forward and pump them. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, you just got a few more. Eight, exhale. Seven, exhale. Six, exhale. Five, inhale. Four, really pull your belly down on the exhale. Three, two, and one. You can relax for a second. Take your feet wide, knees wide, and the feet are outside your mat. Drop your knees to the left, drop your knees to the right. Good, we're gonna stretch out the hip flexors. You work your abs, but you also work the front of the legs and uh, the poses. So go ahead and drop to the left and then let the right knee drop a little bit and take the left foot on top of the right knee. If it feels good, drag it down. So you're gonna stretch out that all that musculature you just kind of worked. <sighs> Breathe and relax. And then just undo it and come up and do a couple tail tucks, just small super small, just a tiny little bridge. Just kind of rolling the lower spine up and down and then drop your knees to the right, line up your left knee, left hip. And if you want to, take your right foot on top of your left knee, just to give that hip flexor complex, which goes all the way up into your left side belly, a little stretch. So just feel the, I'm gonna tail tuck a little bit because it will put my spine into a little extension. So I'm just, tail tucking and dropping my left knee at the same time for four, for three, for two, for one. Good, and do those little tiny up and down. So I want you to lengthen your spine, lift your tailbone up and drop it down. And each time you do it, find length. So the tailbone's reaching away from you. Last three, lay it down, last two, Lay your tailbone down, reaching away from you towards your heels. And one more, inhale and exhale. Reach it away, good. Take your legs straight, take the arms overhead. Take a big inhale, look forward. Exhale, roll up. Take your feet about mat width apart and give yourself a stretch right into the middle. Pull your belly in. Pull in, just reach forward with your arms. You can round your spine, but pull your belly in. Just a big spine stretch and a, and a stretch for your hamstrings. Walk your arms back, and we're gonna do a rolling exercise. So you'll take your knees up and your feet will be off the ground, and you can hold your knees in. And we're gonna roll and balance. So you'll find yourself in this position when you finish. So you're just gonna, wee, come on, roll, balance. Roll, balance. Try to keep yourself really tight like a ball. Three, two. So I wanna tell you about the last one. The last one, you're gonna come up into a squat. Ready, set, roll, squat. Chair pose. Do you guys want to do that again? <laughs> we could. So let's try it. Let's try it two more times just for fun. So you're going to rock back, roll, come back into a squat. Ready, set, roll back, squat. Good. I know that wasn't pretty, but we're doing it again. One more. Inhale, exhale, roll back, squat. And this time we'll hold our squat at the front of our mat. You can walk, inhale, exhale, chair. Good, 
arms back. Let's fly. Let's open our chest. Yeah, just like that. And really set your hips back. So push your hips back. Pull your belly in so tight. Pull the belly in. Right, step the left leg back. So we're in crescent. And inhale the arms up. Exhale to prayer. We're going to twist to the right, okay? So left elbow to the outside of the right leg. And I want you to work your belly. Work your belly in a twist. Pull your belly in. Press your left tricep into your right thigh and lift. Good. Really, really drop into your crescent, but twist longer from the tailbone to the crown of your head. So drop into the left hip, tighten the right, the left quadricep, tighten it and straighten the left knee, twist deeper. Look to the right and hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Both arms down, frame the foot, step back. Plank pose, chaturanga up. Up dog, good, and a down dog. And take your knees and bend them and straighten. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, and now go all the way forward, forward fold. Baby steps or hop step. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, and we're in chair, again, lift up. Really press your hips back. So. Press the hips back as far as you can, really opening all the gluteal fibers. Push back, push back, and then fly. Good, abs tight, good. Just look forward. Sit down, hands to prayer, and twist. This time, right leg back. So we're gonna be in this big crescent twist and I want you to kick into the right leg. So the back leg is really tight, straight down, pull your belly in, press the right tricep into the left thigh. You get a little deeper into your lunge, but then twist even deeper from your belly button up. So working the belly. Last four, last three, last two, one. This time, right arm down. Step the, the left leg back, it's the front leg, into um, a side plank. So another ab segment. Lift the right waist, so it's this bottom waist. You're lifting up and you're gonna dive through and up. Good, dive through. Left arm goes through and up. Each time you dive through, right oblique. Good, you've got about five more. Five, and lift. Four, you lift your hips a little bit as you dive through. Three, good, two more, one more. This time, take your left arm forward, stay with your toes, point it to the left. You're twisting, good. Can you do a few push-ups for me in this position? Five, four, three, two, hover and hold. That's your right oblique. Say hello, wake up. You're welcome. <laughs> right oblique, four, three, two, one. Good, other side. Plank pose, left oblique. So just flip onto your left side plank. And good, here we go. We're diving through. So each time you dive through, the left oblique will fire. Left side of your belly, dive through. You could be on your knee and do this. This would work, just so you know. Last five, last four, last three, two more, one more. Good, right arm down. Keep your feet towards the right, the toes face right. A few little push-ups, five, four, three, Two, can you hover? Left oblique, hover and hold. Hover and hold, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down dog. Right leg lifts. Right leg forward, we're gonna do a warrior one. Inhale, exhale to sink. Good, let's take a little bind in our warrior one. Good. 
You know, and let's do a half bow. Just bow halfway down. Lift the arms. And come on up. Good. Half bow. Hinging from the hip. Down, halfway down. We're not going all the way. Three more. Two more. Straight down. One more and hold. Now we'll hold this one. Pulling the right hip back, left hip forward. Walk your right foot out a little bit. And bow inside your right leg. Right shoulder inside the right leg. Big stretch for the right hip. Pull your arms overhead. Humble warrior. Good, good, good. Feels so good, doesn't it? I hope it does. Release your arms and walk them to the left. Away from the right leg. Big down dog arms. Press your hips away from your hands. Just press, make your arms so long. Ah, oh, feels good. Nice stretch, great job. Come over, back over towards your right foot. And I want you to go um, walk the right foot to the right. Good, and you're nice and wide with the legs. Come down to your elbows and your left knee. So, we are in this big hip stretch. Let's do a few little circles with our pelvis. Now you could be on your left toe box or on your left knee, whatever you feel, you can be on your hands. Keep driving your hips around, little circles. Make sure your right foot is in the right position for four more, for three more, for two more, one more, good. Circle the other way. Just massaging the right hip. Make sure it's comfortable for four, for three, for two, for one. Good, come back up on your hands. Walk the right foot in. So now the right knee is kind of by the right arm. Hold that pose. Good, and we're back in crescent too. Back in a crescent pose. Hold that pose. And then start to take the left leg and walk it in, hop it in just a little bit. And then Bend the left knee a little bit as you straighten the right leg. Now straighten everything, bend the left knee. So you're just doing this little tiny bow. Bend the left knee into the right hamstring. Bend the left knee, great, just two more. One more and hold. Now if you want to, you can take your hands behind and take a bind behind the back leg and straighten. Straighten the right hamstring. Nice stretch here for your right leg. For four, for three, for two, for one. Fingertips down in front of your leg. Lift the left leg up. So supported warrior three. Drop your left hip, left toes are straight down. Option to go into your regular warrior three. Arms anywhere you want them. Inhale the arms up, 
And exhale, just take the elbows to your waist and open your heart center. Lift the sternum, lift the heart. Dive down just a little deeper into your left hip flexor. Good, lift the arms high, inhale, and exhale back to down dog. Take a breath here. Take a vinyasa if you want to. If you feel like it might feel good, you'll do a chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Huh. We've arrived. We're gonna do the other side. So go ahead and just relax. One more breath in your dog. And when you're ready, lift the left leg up. Lift it up, bring it in forward to warrior one set up. The right foot's at an angle. Lift up. Good, back legs nice and energized. Hips are forward, let's take a bind here. So just nice and easy. Bind, open the chest, lift, look up. So we'll be hinging from the hip five times. You ready for the other side? Here we go, hinge. And lift. Hinge straight down. Just halfway. Good, lift up. Really working from your left glute. Good, three more. Hinge. And up. Two more. Hinge straight down. And up. This is your last one, you're holding it. You're gonna walk your left foot out, make room for your shoulders to dive in between your legs. Left shoulder inside left knee, and lift up, humble warrior. Arms release. Great, and release your arms, walk over to the right, down dog arms, just give yourself a big stretch. Pull your hips away from your hands. Long through your spine, tailbone to fingers to the crown of your head. Really long for four, for three, for two, for one. Walk your hands back in inside the left foot. Right leg goes back and you're gonna drop into this big stretch. Right knee will drop if you want it to. And maybe the elbows will drop. And we do these little circles. So place your left foot so it's comfortable. I have mine kind of towed out, a little bit towed out and kind of wide, my left foot. And then I'm gonna do these little circles and then I'm gonna go the other way, okay? Circle your pelvis. Great. Let it go, come back up onto your hands back up onto the right toe box. Walk your right leg in about 12 inches and then you're gonna bend the right knee, straighten the left. You're just bowing. Straighten both, now bend the right knee, straighten the left. Good. Bend the right knee and straighten both. Two more, bend the right knee now straighten both legs, bend and bow, right into the left hamstring. Great, now if you want to, you can bind behind the back leg. Clasp your hands and just give yourself a really good hamstring stretch on that left side for four, for three. Angle the right hip down for two, pull your belly in. Whew, good, walk your hands forward and lift the right leg up. So you're in a supported warrior three. You can do whatever you want here. It can be a real warrior three or supported. So please do the one that you like for three breaths, for two, for one. We're gonna lift the right knee up. Find a focus spot and we'll be twisting towards the right knee. Twist towards it. Left arm goes outside of the right thigh, right arm back. Find your balance. 
This can be anything you want. You're just standing on one foot. And it doesn't really matter. Just practice standing on one foot. If you try to bind, left arm to the outside of the right foot, and you'll straighten it. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior three, anything you like, supported, arms forward, side or back. For three, for two, step back, crescent, inhale, exhale, arch back. Good, and all the way to the ground. Step your leg back. Chaturanga or down dog. So you choose it. Very nice. Good, good, good. So let's do um, a few hops into Malasana. So take your knees and bend them. Look forward at your fingers. Take your thumbs to touch. So your feet are going to go outside your hands into a squat five times if you like, or you can just step it right left. Okay, ready, set, hop, stand up into prayer, drop your hands, and hop back to that pose. Set your hips back so you need a big spring. That's four. Good. Drop your hands, set your feet back. And three, and hop back, two, good, just the malasana, the next one we're going to hold, that will be nice, here we go, hop, and hop, and settle, hips drop, hands to prayer, <laughs> this is more fun, <laughs> this is more relaxing, I should say, and breathe and relax. Coming back to your dedication, your prayer, your intention, whatever that is for yourself, for your community, for your world. Breathe into that thought. It's okay to have one just for yourself. That's okay. We all need it. Just breathe in. Nurturing oneself is so important. Go ahead and go to seated, okay? Go to seated. And let's do a... Um, So you'll have your soles of your feet together and you'll, um, the diamond can be long, it can be wide, but what I want you to do is hold your feet and then just kind of walk around on your glutes and then pick up the glutes so you're not on the, the abundant part of your glutes. <laughs> you're on the sits bones if possible. And then go ahead and bow. Opening up inner thighs and your, your butterfly pose. If your feet open, you can open them like you're reading a book. So you just open them up and then go ahead and bow one more time. Push your knees down with the muscles in your hips, okay? Just one more breath, round of breaths here, maybe three, okay? Inhale and exhale. I'm gonna do another hip opener on our back, so if this one's not comfortable for you, we'll do it. We'll try for a couple different ones. Great, great, great. So this next one is gonna be in a figure four. And you'll be with your right leg crossed over. Well, let's, let's do our shoulders at the same time for the heck of it. So walk your arms back, face your fingers away from you, okay? And maybe wide, maybe wide, and bend your elbows. Walk your left heel in. So you've got that left knee, as, that left heel as close as you can. And then start to bend your elbows. 
So you feel something in your wrist, but also in the front of your shoulders, a couple more bends. And then face your fingers towards you, and wrist too, and then bend, and bend, good. Not feeling much in my right thigh yet, are you? Mostly in my shoulders, just letting them stretch out. Feel the difference right to left. Do you have a difference? I'm feeling a little something. The shoulders are different. Good. And then just walk back onto your elbows. Walk back all the way onto your back. And then um, you'll have this stretch and you're going to drop this right foot that's up and the left thigh to the left. And you're not going to reposition. Your right foot will be flat on the ground. So go ahead and drop it. Arms out. You can place them down or up, whatever you want, hands up or down. But I want you to start pressing the right knee away. And if you want to, you can kind of dig your right fingers into this right hip. If this is a tight part of your hip, and so you can kind of just massage your back and kind of push the hip away, give yourself a little release. You can put the right hand in the fold of your hip and push the femur, push it down. Start to feel a little bit of a release between your right pelvic bone and your right ribs. You can open up, just pull, pull and open up. Give yourself a little massage in the front of your hip and then just enjoy it. Just stay there, back off a little bit so it feels comfortable. If it's tight, then just back off a little bit. Close your eyes to just relax. We're not going to do a lot more work today, so don't worry about that. And then just take your right knee and stack it on top of your left knee. And all the way over to the left. And then take your arms out like a giant T. This time, palm up on your right side. Palm up. And maybe you're going to straighten that right top leg. Maybe you are for IT band. Hip to knees. Iliotendon. Relax and breathe. Does anybody want the double stretch? I know I do that a lot. The right arm will go to the left foot and pull it back. If you're doing that stretch, it feels intense. Breathe through it. Ah, release. If there's something you need to let go of, please let go of it. Ah, let go. So from here, guys, just let go of everything. You can stack the knees on that side, slowly bringing them back up. Give yourself a hug. I'm going to do a happy baby. Pulling my knees wide. I'm going to rock around. You can do whatever you want, though. I want my back to feel more symmetrical at this point. And I'm going to rock up when you're ready. Left leg crosses over. Place your fingers behind you. I'm going to do my arms a little bit wide here. I'm going to start bending my elbows. Walk your right heel in. So at the same time, you might get a little stretch in your left hip. You might not. Depending on how flexible you are, I'm going to bend my elbows. I'm looking for a stretch a little bit in my wrists, but also in the front of my shoulders. And place your hands wherever it feels good. Place the hands and face the fingers towards your glutes. And then do the stretch again. Just bend your knees and bend your elbows. So as you come up, you can kind of get closer to your legs and give yourself a stretch, then bend your elbows and get stretched in your... Walk your hands back if you don't feel it. You can get just a little bit more. It feels pretty good to me. It's a lot of stretch in the shoulders though. So make sure you keep it in the feel good range and go ahead and rock back to your elbows and then lay down. 
and you've got this configuration, same thing. Figure four, the left foot and the right thigh are gonna just go over to the right. Your left foot is flat and you push your left knee away. Let's start working with the tissue. So all the hip tissue, it's especially in the front of my right hip. I don't know if you feel it kind of outside, uh, lateral side of my hip and front. I'm gonna just start to dig my fingers in and allow the knee to push towards away from you and then maybe giving yourself a little uh, adjustment by pressing on your pelvis push the pelvis away and your ribs are pulling back so the left ribs back yeah and go ahead and dig your fingers in if you like good especially in that area that's just really tight i don't know where you're tight but just give it a nice stretch and then let it go and back off. So now you can back off a little bit, just make sure you're getting into the muscle. So uh, the concept of less is more. Please back off a little bit. Let go of anything you don't want to hold on to, let it go. <sighs> and then take your knees and drop them over to one side. So you've got this nice twist. It's an easy twist. This may be where you want to stay, or you may want to elongate the top leg. You may catch a bind right arm to your left foot. Stay there, and you might want to catch a bind on the other side as well with the left arm going to your right foot. Breathe and relax. ahead and release it stack the knees on that side I wanted to do one more thing which will be an inversion we didn't do one today so I'm going to give you the option for shoulder stand go ahead and pull your knees in rock around on your lower back if you don't like shoulder stand you can do a hamstring stretch with the legs in the air like this this is awesome for your hamstrings and it is an inversion but if you want to do a shoulder stand go ahead and uh, come up don't look at your screen. Be sure you don't do that. So your eyes are gonna be facing up. You're never gonna turn your head. The weight will be on your shoulder blades, okay? And lift your hips up, support your sacrum. Eyes looking straight up at your toes. Now glue your inner thighs together, tighten your glutes, calves together, ankles together, but all 10 toes are separate. Pull in your belly and hold for 10 breaths. Relax your neck. Close your eyes if you like. Try the swallow test so to make sure that you can swallow. <laughs> Start to drop the leg behind you without changing the weight on your shoulder. Shoulders are down, <laughs> good. If your legs touch the ground, straighten your arms out on the mat. If they don't touch the ground, keep a hold of your sacrum in your hips. One more breath here. Roll down bone by bone. We're going into our final pose. Well, not final. Savasana will be the final fish pose. Hands are underneath your glutes. Drop your legs slowly so you can get one more abdominal press. Um, and then you can come up onto the crown of your head. Elbows narrow. And open your breath completely. And mouth to really exhale. Ah, breathe out like a lion. Open your mouth, really breathe out. Ah. If you want the final expression,
expression of this pose. Loosen up the hands. Take your arms and clasp the fingers. Point your fingers pointing. Lift your legs to 45 degrees. For four. For three. One more breath. Let it all go. And rest. Final resting pose. Just really, really relax, guys. You can do any pose you want. It could be uh, another knee, knee hug. It could be Savasana. It could be Supta. Bhattakadasana. Anything you want. Just find your body in the best shape for you. Just explore what feels the best and do it and breathe. in your feet, inhale, exhale into your feet. inside your mouth, the tongue so relaxed. Open your mouth to breathe. in Savasana if you like or starting to breathe a little deeper and coming back to the room that you're in and back to yourself breathing and coming to seated in any way you wish maybe um, 
slowly to your side or rolling up. Taking a stretch if you feel like that would feel good over your head, circling your wrists and ankles. And if you're coming to seated with me, then you'll put your hands on your heart center. saying a prayer uh, for yourself, uh, for all those that you love, uh, that they may feel contentment today, and those, all those that we don't know, that they will feel a sense of contentment and joy today. Namaste. Now begins your practice. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and thanks for joining me. Please, um, you can Facebook Messenger me for suggestions or text me, and hopefully I'll see you Friday. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you.